During the past 10 years, since founding this company, I gave everything that I had into this company. These days, my lectures aren't that long. Back then, I used to be the only lecturer for the Success Academy. I gave the lecture for the new products as well. During those days, I remember sometimes becoming dizzy up here on the stage. Yeah. My week would be filled with traveling. I was on every imaginable highway, going to Busan, Daegu, Ulsan, just everywhere. I used to drive my rundown car. I'd be eating gas station sandwiches as I drove around the country. Just, yeah. I just didn't have any time to eat. And I really didn't have any time for sleep either. My nose would be bleeding all the time and my eyes were always bloodshot. I was exhausted. I thought to myself that I might die keeping this up. But I knew that I still couldn't stop. I knew that even if I were to die, I couldn't stop. One day, I was giving a lecture in Jejudo, and my nose started to bleed again. I tried to block it with tissue uh, during the break time, but blood just kept flowing from my nose. My body was a complete mess. That's when Imperial Master Hyun Suk Kim said, President Park, let's just stop doing these lectures. Do you know what I said? I said, I'd rather die while giving lectures. Yeah. Even if I die, the company will do well. The members would acknowledge that I had died while working hard for the company. They would have carried out my legacy, and they would have been motivated to care for their partners. Wouldn't that happen if I died while working? That's why I was okay, even if I had died while working hard. If I don't die, then I can continue to work. But people don't die that easily. Try working to the point of death. It's really hard to die from working too hard. Instead, you must set a goal for yourself so that it is okay even if you die from doing what you love to do. You should have the attitude that if you're able to save your family from poverty, then it's okay for you to die even while working. Why then do you all go into your houses so early? What's in your house that's so special that you have to be in there so often? Why do you go to your houses so frequently? You don't have to be at home that much. You seniors actually didn't go home every day, maybe once or twice a week. They ran to wherever they were needed. The leaders at the time had lost all their voices. Why? They would consult their partners even until midnight. If the partner was busy at midnight, then they would meet up with them at one in the morning. If the partner called again and said that they needed more consultation, then the leaders provided that consultation. Even if it was at two in the morning. That's why they didn't even have enough time for sleep. One member said that she had gone early in the morning to the center. She wanted to do well in her business, but she noticed that there were already a few people ahead of her. The next day, she went to the center an hour early, but still there were people there before her. And finally, she went to the center even before the sun had risen, but there were still people there before her. So she asked, what time do you people come to the center? And the people there said, we actually don't go home. If you're going to make fifty to $100,000 a month, shouldn't you engage in this business with that kind of passion? If, if it's work that can save you and your family from poverty, shouldn't you work as if your life depended on it? Does Adamy ask you for a college diploma? Is that what we expect? Does it require you to spend tens of thousands of dollars? No, the company requires nothing of you. 
Just come join the business and use our products. Then all you have to do is tell others about our products. It benefits everyone because of its high quality and low price. Everyone's families will benefit by using Atomy's products. All you have to do is tell other people. And if you can't even do that, then bring those people here to the seminar. If you do that, then you will become successful. Is it really that hard? Is it really that hard? President Park, it's so difficult. That <laughs> just drives me crazy. Just go out. Go and get rejected by people. Just be humiliated even more and start from the bottom. You need to get down on all fours. And actually, these days, you won't really get rejected that often. Uh, certainly not compared to before. And that's because most people know about our product's qualities already. You don't have to try that hard. In the beginning, people had not even heard of our products. They would say, where did these products even come from? They would rebuke the contractors for doing network marketing. These days, there are many successful people who have come out of Atomy. In the beginning, there were really only a handful of contractors. You could count the number of the contractors in the hundreds. In those days, people had very stiff necks. Why did you bring me here? They would say. Yeah. With really discontent faces. But these days, we have our seminars in nice hotel halls. And thousands of people are gathered here together. So when people gather here, they're impressed. Many people are impressed even before listening to the lectures. All of you have very good working conditions today. What do you mean? It's too difficult. Is it more difficult than living in poverty? What do you mean it doesn't fit your lifestyle? You're not built for sales? You're not built for business? Does poverty fit your lifestyle then? Are you happy? If you want to bring success to your family, you're going to have to work very hard. The number of youths and the elderly who have no jobs is only increasing. Thus, all of you must have a sense of calling and you must have a strong resolve to be successful, even if it's just for your loved ones. I hope all of you will be successful with such commitments. And that's the end of my lecture.